Welcome to Rebel Speak and Be Encouraged. I want to speak a prayer from Psalm 20 over your life as we start moving out of 2021 and soon into 2022 and just that visible milestone of time passing at a year's end as we move into the newness of, of the new year. In times of trouble, may Yahweh respond to your cry. I pray that you feel and experience the response of Yahweh to your cry. May the God of Jacob keep you safe from all harm. I pray for your safety. May Yahweh send you help from his sanctuary and strength, strengthen you from Zion. May you be strengthened by God from where God is, right? May where God tabernacles, where God lives, where God is, may you have strength from who God is. The reality of God in your life, may you be strengthened. May that presence strengthen you. And may you find and know help in the midst of your needs today. May he remember all your gifts and look favor favorably on your burnt offerings. I, I, I feel just in prayer today that your gifts and your burnt offerings are your life. The, the, the many sacrifices that your life has known and made. And, and you might be someone who gives yourself F's all the time. And God, David's saying, God sees your A's. <laughs> he sees those moments. He's familiar with the moments of the yeses in your life. And may God be working through those yeses. God's familiar with all the yeses you've made. And you're, you might be in a moment right now that doesn't feel very yes worthy. But every yes you've ever made to God, God holds on to that and God is so faithful. God is so faithful. And you might, I don't know, feel the brokenness of some realities right now. Like, I really wish this were different. And I want to say that God remembers where you've been faithful. And in that remembrance, God responds God responds to you. David knew this well. This is a Psalm of David. David knew how God is so for us. God, God so delights in our little yeses, even if we've had some big bad no's. God delights in you. I just feel some of you are so kind. Some of you are tremendously forgiving people. Don't think that God is less forgiving than you. And you might be in some bad ways, some bad circumstances right now, and you might very clearly understand that you deserve some of the situations you're in, that you've, you've made some unrighteous choices. But God doesn't work that way. He loves you, and he loves that part of your heart that is so good and kind, and, and you know it. And he's familiar. That's what he remembers. He's familiar with the good, the best parts of you. He's, he's deeply familiar. I want to say radically familiar, but that, that word, I, I just feel like saying that word, even though it's a word that I don't know what it means fully, radically. He, he's, he's beyond your imagine. He's fully familiar with you. And he's fully familiar with what animates your heart. And lean not on your own understanding right now, but reach out. God, God's hands, like I just see like when you're trying to get over something, and God's hands right there ready to pull you across this kind of this mess of stuff and get you to the other side. Because there's a part of you that said yes to God and has been faithful. And in those small ways that you've been faithful, God responds in big ways. It's just God's nature. May he grant your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. That's what I want to say to you today. May he, I'm going to keep it there. May he grant your heart's desires and fulfill all your plans. You are not alone. You are not alone. There are yearnings inside of your heart. There's things you want to see for your family. There's things you want to see for loved ones. And it just feels like time is passing and nothing's changing. And I want to say to you, keep crying out. Keep praying. Keep Read that Psalm 20 over, over the circumstances. God is for you. His arm is not too short to save. He wants to bring to fruition those very plans in your heart. God created you with them. And God wants you to achieve the things that your heart is yearning to see happen. And it feels like ugh, family members are too lost. Circumstances are too dire. 
your own hypocrisy. Who are you to even ask anything of God? And, and when you think that way, you don't know God. You don't know God. God loves that your heart yearns to see better truth, better reality for the people you love. And God wants to partner with that heart that God put in you, that God put that heart in you to yearn for those circumstances, those plans, those desires. God wants to be with you in the unfolding of new life for your family and your circumstances. And I want to encourage you as you move out of 2021 into 2022 to align your heart with God's goodness and, and to, to just call out, call out, God, I'm with you. And, and to hear God say, I'm calling back, echo back, I'm with you. God wants to lead the way into those plans. He wants to bring to fruition. What is fruition? The fruit, fruitedness. <laughs> A good harvest of good fruit. God wants you, God wants your desires of your heart to see those desires fulfilled. God's purposed you with that. And God is faithful in that. Call upon God's name. Be blessed as you transition from 2021 into the newness of 2022. And know that the God of love is before you and behind you. And be encouraged by that love. You're not alone. You're not alone. And you can say, I'm responsible. No, God walks in. That's what the cross says. God walks into where you're responsible. Says, hey, let me let me lift that on my shoulder. Let me pull that big, let me pull it up. <laughs> Let's get that. Let me help you. He's right, right next to you. Like, let me take that burden and put it on my shoulder, right? Put it on the cross. Let me help you. Let, let me help you get to your promised land. Let me walk with you. Let me walk with you. Let, let us get you there. Be encouraged. Be blessed.